What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition program with us TV. Let's look at how to work with the search bar. You can see we have this beautiful search bar and then you can actually use it to filter simple list view. Okay, so this we want to do this one in Kotlin. Okay, actually we've already done this type of tutorial in of course Java, but we just want to see to use Kotlin for those Kotlin guys who actually do not know Java. So of course Kotlin Android still how to work with of course a list view and a search bar okay so you can see of course we can actually go ahead and type right here okay now if you type of course we can actually go ahead and filter and then if i click this one it's going to empty it okay and then if i click this one it's going to disable it so this is what we're going to look at right here okay how to filter a list view via search bar so we're going to use a third party library to display this beautiful search bar so let's start and look at it so first and foremost of course we're going to have right here create our application so give it a name of course we have the company domain then you also choose the project location now just remember that you include the Kotlin support because we're going to use the Kotlin programming language okay so make sure you take this one include Kotlin support this option is only available in some of the later versions of Android studio so you may want to update your Android studio so yeah we come right here API level 15 that's going to be our minimum of course you can make it lower then we're going to have not really 15 in fact we're going to go with the API level 16 okay yeah you can choose 16 or higher as you can see 99.2% of devices now this is because the library that we're going to use material search bar actually requires from jelly bean and above so choose it api level 16 then click next then you're going to go with the empty activity then you click next then of course we have this one click finish this is going to generate for us the project so with that project ready first you're going to navigate over to our gradle scripts as always you can see we have two of them build dot gradle right here first the project level or the root level now in this case we're going to add this repository maven url https jetpack.io so we add it right here under the repositories closure under the all projects okay so why well because the material search bar that we're going to use is actually hosted in jetpack so add this one okay now if you don't add it then you are not going to be able to download the library because the android studio will search for it in the j center and it will not find it so in your root level or project level build or gradle make sure you add this maven repository next we'll come over to the build.gradle this uh, app level build.gradle of course android studio has added for us this particular plugins the Kotlin Android as well as the Kotlin Android extensions this is because as we said you're using Kotlin programming language then we come right here our minimum SDK version you just make sure it's 16 then of course under the dependencies we're going to add the dependencies again Android Studio has added for us the Kotlin standard lib jari right here okay as a dependency so all we need to do is make sure we add of course the app compart if it's not been added we have the constraint layout we also have the design support library okay and we also have the material search bar so add them now this material search bar okay by the man cj right here this of course is the library that we're going to use is going to give us of course the search bar which we'll use so have it here right and then sync your project click this one to sync the project now once you've done that one then of course we're going to go over right here the drawables we don't really add anything the values also leaving them untouched okay we have the strings and of course the styles instead we'll jump over to our layout here okay activity main dot xml so yeah so we come over to the activity main.xml right here of course we have the linear layout as the root element then 
we wouldn't have the material search bar right here okay so normally with the material search bar you can actually apply uh, some configurations for example you can set the speech mode right here the hint you can pass the hint you can also set the maximum suggestions count that is if you wanted to display suggestions now in our case instead of displaying suggestions we're going to filter a list view okay an independent list view that's what we're going to filter now you can also come here and add the list view so you can see we have our list view this is the list view that we're going to filter so this is all we need to do and we've actually added uh define them inside a linear layout whose orientation is vertical so that the material search bar will just be above the list view so that's our layout let's now proceed over to the kotlin code so here we have our main activity now first and foremost we'll come and then have our package most probably android Studio has added for you these ones okay now we have the main activity right here as you can see we're deriving from the app compat activity then of course we're going to override the on create method which is actually a callback that will get raised when our activity is created so first and foremost we have the activity main.xml being set okay right there it will be inflated and then set as the user interface for our main activity then we come right here first you're going to reference the list view which we're going to work with so our search bar equal to find view by id dot id dot search bar as material search bar so the search bar of course we defined it in our layout we're going to set the hint as well as the speech mode then we're going to define the data source basically we have this array right here that will contain our galaxies this is what we're going to use as our data then we come we're going to have our adapter okay well this is a list view so we need to have uh, the adapter that's going to bind our data so we're going to use an array adapter we pass in the context we also pass in the layout as well as the galaxies which is our data source then we set the adapter of course to our list view having done that one we're going to listen to the text change um text change events okay right here so search by to add text change listener now in this case right here we're going to override three methods or three callbacks before text change on text change as well as the after text change so we are interested in the on text change that is as the user is typing through the search bar this on text change right here will get traced so in this case what we'll do we're going to first retrieve the filter from our adapter okay then invoke the filter method then pass in the car sequence now this car sequence right here this is the data or the text that the user is going to be typing is actually the search term now that's how we're going to filter then we come we're going to listen to click events for th from the list view when you click the list view we're going to show a toast message we're going to get the item that was clicked right here cast it to a string and then show it in our toast message so yeah that's all we're going to need to do right there okay that's all we need to do and then of course just click run to run the project that's all we need to do but then we're going to attach the source code in our website https http devosha www.devosha.com so just navigate over right there we'll leave the link below you'll find the source code right there as well as more documentation for now like the video share it and take care i'll catch you in the next class